Hello, you're watching a Star News Update. I'm Rebecca Yao. The Meteorological Department has issued a warning of flooding in low-lying areas of Pahang and Johor due to continuous rain forecasted until Saturday morning. In a statement, the department says the districts involved in Pahang are Kuantan, Pekan, Rompin, Maran, Beral, Tamelo, while in Johor they are Mersing and Kluang. The department also says intermittent rain and at times heavy rain can cause flooding in low-lying areas near riverbanks. A representative of the MCA's so-called Third Force has asked Prime Minister Datu Sri Najib Tun Razak and former MCA leaders to step in to resolve the persisting crisis in the party. Najib, who is the Barisan National Chairman, has said that he will not intervene unless he's asked officially after similar calls had been made by Party Vice President Datu Sri Kong Cho Ha and Amno Vice President Datu Sri Hishamuddin Hussein. Rasa Jaya branch chairman Datuk Tan Kah Chon says he supports the Greater Unity Plan but asked the Prime Minister to meet up with former party leaders to help put the MC back together. In order to put an end, in order to, put an end to the MCA political crisis and to rebuild a good image for Balisan National, I sincerely urge the Balisan National Chairman, come Prime Minister Datuk Sri Najib, to meet up and consult with the 11 party veterans who were the past party presidents and past deputy president. Tan says should the Prime Minister be unable to meet up with all of them, he suggested that Najib meet Dr. Ling and Chen or as a last resort, consult former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahade, Mohammed, who had dealt with at least three MCA crises. Two friends were sentenced to death by the Shah Alam High Court for murdering UITM lecturer Bakar Busu, who was alleged to have asked for a one night stand from a former student seven years ago. Justice Muhammad Idris Muhammad Rapi'i found 32 year old sales executive Sukarnain Alias and 31 year old forklift driver Norman Abdul Wahab guilty of the murder. The accused former student of Institute Kemahiran Bina Negara IKN Azizul Azwal Jailani 26 who was also convicted of the murder, will be sentenced on December 11th pending a probation report as he was a youthful offender at the time of the offence. The Sessions Court has granted former Malaysia Today editor Raja Petra Raja Kamarudin a discharge not amounting to an acquittal in his criminal defamation trial as the police have yet to serve the warrant on him. Dep Deputy Public Prosecutor Muhammad Hafiz Muhammad Yusuf told Judge Muhammad Sekari Mamat Friday that the police have also not been able to serve the show cause notice on his wife and bailer, Mabel Elias Marina Lee. Raja Petra was charged with defaming Rosma, Lieutenant Colonel Abdul Aziz Buyung, and his wife, Lieutenant Colonel Nohayati Hassan, in a statutory de declaration made at the Jalan Duta Court Complex in Kuala Lumpur on June 18 last year. The arrest warrant was issued on May 26 when he failed to turn up in court. For more updates, log on to the Star TV. I'm Rebecca Thanks for watching.